Um, well, I have, um, these are um, blood capsules. They're basically like medicine pills that mm -hmm. basically you put in the mouth, and then when the actor gets, let's say, punched in the face, they bite down on it, and then it spits the, you know, they can spit the blood out. So that's really cool for doing more of the special effects. Okay. Um, I have tooth decay, which is this stuff you can just <laughs> paint it on your teeth, and it looks like decaying teeth. It's really uh, disgusting, but um, interesting. But yeah, there you go. Yeah. And um, you had sweat in there, didn't yes, you? Yes, I have what? sweat, which is um, basically mineral oil. You can buy this at the drugstore, but basically what you do is you just rub it on your face, and you can get that just, you know, like back from the gym kind of glow <laughs> on the body. So I see where tips for everyone, if you want to make believe you're at the gym and fake everybody out, you put mineral, mineral oil, oil yeah. all over your skin and just <sighs> come back. Exactly. Yeah. See, you learn things on Christina Marie TV. Very good. Actually, you're going to be doing some makeup effects on me but in a few minutes. Um, my next question is, what is the most asked for or most popular effect that is in demand right now? Um, well, uh zombie makeup is really really popular everyone always seems to be doing zombie films um again black eye bruises and cuts are always in high demand as well I don't know. black eye black eyes bruises, bruises and, and cuts. cuts oh my yeah well so with that being said why don't you come on okay over? we're going to um hurt me a little bit here you're gonna um, take me through and show me what it is and i'm going to put your website up here so if anybody wants to cruise your website a little bit um, while we're doing this, and what are you going to be doing to me, Cassie? Well, I thought uh, we could start with a black eye. Sure, why not? Okay, <laughs> so stay, take me through the process. And if anybody wants to call in with a question uh, for Cassie, the number is 621-4473. Otherwise, watch as I get bruised and hurt right now. Okay, go for it. So. Okay, so I'm using um, a color wheel. This is a, called a bruise wheel, and this is called a death wheel. <laughs> That's um, sweet. I'm a little nervous now. Okay. <laughs> All of these you can, you know, um, buy at makeup supply centers or, um, you know, at home. If you don't have anything, you can just use eyeshadow. Probably not at Sephora, though. No, not no. at Sephora. <laughs> I'd like the bruise wheel, please. So we're going to do a bruise that's, let's say, um, aged a bit. So when you first get punched in the eye, it's going to be dark, deep purple. Okay. But we're going to do a bruise that's maybe you've had for a couple of days. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, a base of yellow. Because right. if you ever look, your bruises tend to turn yellow or green after a couple of days. Okay. And what is it actually going? Do you study like the capillaries and everything? Yeah, you got to study the bones, the okay. faces. Yeah. So right now for a black eye, mm -hmm. you have this, if you think of like a skull, there's a bone right here. Mm -hmm. There's the cheekbone right here. Okay. And then there's also a little bit of a bone right here. And then you have the nose bone. Everything else is tissue. So we know that's what bruises. Um, bones only swell, so they okay. turn red. So knowing that, we're going <laughs> to take uh, the yellow and okay. we're going to put it basically on those bone areas. Okay. Very good. And I'm using my fingers. You can use brushes or sponges, mm -hmm. but I like this because it's a cream base. So you can really blend it nice and well. Very good. It feels good so far. <laughs> so is this now? Now you work by day as a makeup artist for a uh, for a regular makeup company. Yes, I work at a counter. Uh -huh. uh, so that means that you're doing beautiful makeup, and but you have the capacity to make them look really, really bad. <laughs> yes, so I do. Do you ever get customers that sometimes you kind of want to add a, a bruise to or something? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. I get those testy, mean customers that I just want to put black eyeshadow all over their face. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good to know ahead of time. Okay. So, so now we're adding green, which is again going to give it that more aged look. Okay. And the key um, with this is to really make sure it's blended. Um, when you watch movies and you can really tell there's a, a black eye on someone, mm -hmm. it's usually because they haven't blended their, um, you know, okay. their makeup. It's all in the blending. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. So now that we've added some green, we're going to mm -hmm. go ahead and add that purple in there that's going to give it that... Um, that bruised look. I'm turning my face so we can. <laughs> so you can oh yeah, oh, that's looking bad already. Yeah. It's a good thing I don't have another interview after this. <laughs> they might be a little distressed. Okay, so she's blending the bruise. And bl again, blending the purple in. If you're following along at home, remember to blend. Blend. And now we're going to add a little bit of a, a deep red color, which is again going to give it um, the look of uh, the swelling in. <laughs> I love that we're doing this on Friday the 13th, too. Yeah. <laughs> right before Valentine's Day. So, God, yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm looking bad <laughs> now. So again, it, it needs a lot of works, but you can get the general idea. So this is basically your bruise right here. Uh huh. Um, you know, and you want to make sure you get really close into the eye because that's again where all the tissues, you know, start to swell up. And, wow. And again, the nose right here, I've put a lot of purple on the nose, yeah, but that's that... really not going to be a, a place where it's going to bruise up. But, so, you know, at home you can really see it. Very hopefully. good. And let's see, let's do a little close up over here if I can get, can you see that? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's go back to the other camera here. Okay. Yeah, I can totally see this. See, here's our, here's our yeah. out there. Okay. So that's so, what else are you doing to me here? I was thinking maybe we could do some uh, peeling skin. Oh, lovely. Yes. Peeling Bring skin. it on. We have about like five more minutes here. Okay. So, so with peeling skin, we're going to use uh, liquid latex. Um, again, if you can buy this at a, a supply store, that's the best, but you probably won't be able to. So use uh, eyelash adhesive. Okay. Um, it's basically the exact same thing. So what we're going to do is basically, let's do it on your nose here. We're just going to apply some right on the nose. Okay. And you basically want to just blend it out. <laughs> and it's, it's white, so you can see where you're applying it. All right. And we're just going to let that dry real quick. And maybe we could even do some on the forehead. Really Why not? Quick, Why not? I'm going to keep this on when I go out to dinner later <laughs> and see what people say. Maybe I'll try to get change out. Oh boy. There you go. Okay. So while that dries. Okay, I'm letting it dry. I really look like I got in a fight here. Yeah. So and let's, lost. <laughs> let's say uh, while we let that dry, let's okay. go ahead and give you maybe a little bit of a a mustache or a beard here. Why not? <laughs> so we're using a stipple sponge, which okay. is this really porous sponge here, mm -hmm. and that's going to give us the effect of like hair, maybe like a five o'clock shadow or something like that. And wow. we're just going to just stipple it right on, and we're using um, a mixture of brown and black because mm -hmm. hair has multiple colors in it, and we want to give it that texture. So we'll give you know, a nice little mustache here. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Okay. <laughs> And a little of tea. We've got about like uh, two and a half minutes. So okay, that's just what so, I wanted for tonight. A there goatee. you go. A mm -hmm. goatee. A goatee. I got a goatee, and now I have a black eye, and I'm gonna have peeling skin. And in let's a peel that skin. So now okay. that it's dry, basically you're gonna oh. just take your finger and you're just gonna rub, and it's gonna create these almost Ow. sunburnt <laughs> Ow. holes on the forehead. Oh boy, I'm looking good here. And then this is where you can come in. So that's it. So it makes the skin and peeling. Wow. <clears throat> and we can come in and even just to finish it off, let's we what we can add. I'm some looking a mess there. here, people. We could add maybe a little bit of blood here. Oh yeah. Why not? Everyone loves blood. It's like the cherry on the on the Sunday. Yeah. Everybody loves blood. So <laughs> This is a very difficult show right here. We have another minute or so, but look at I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to get a little closer up to the camera. I'm, I'm not looking so good here. That's great, Cassie. Wow. So how long did it take you to learn how to, to ruin my face like this? Um, you know, it was a lot of self-teaching. Uh -huh. um, like I said, I'd spend hours after I went to bed and just read books and stuff like that. But um, I've been doing it for four years professionally. and. Um, probably a few more years before that, just playing around in you know, my bedroom. And what's your like best job that you would ever hope that you want to pull out of this? I mean, oh, where where uh, would you want to work? Um, you know, again, just work for one of the studios or even a makeup lab would be a lot of fun. Um, you know, they, uh, yeah, they always have lots of fun opportunities and jobs. Excellent, excellent. And what's like the hardest thing to do as a makeup artist? Which effect is the hardest? Um, anything, I think, with um, nose and scar wax, which is, again, ways to make um, bruises and open. Nose and scar, scar wax. wax. I love that. What are we Tell having? You. We have the wheel of, for of, of fortune. We have the, the um, <laughs> of misfortune. bruise wheel, the death wheel, nose and scar wax. There will be a test later. <laughs> yes. Okay. Excellent. And um, the blood. And, and the, the scab blood. You have the capsule blood. You have the slap, I call it the slap blood, but it's the water activated blood. Wow. And your liquid blood. She has blood all over the place. <laughs> Cassie, this has been really interesting, very informative. very. And who, where uh, where can people find out information about your site again? You can go to CassieAM.com or you can email me at CassieAM at Comcast.net if you have any questions. 
Very good. That was really fun. Did you have a good time? I had lots of fun. I had a great time. <laughs> I'm not keeping her in the studio. She's like <laughs> killing me. Look at this. This is real. I want to really wear this out. I you should. See. Yeah. Should. We'll, we'll go down Market Street. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you for joining us on Christina Marie TV. I'm your host, Christina Marie. Thanks. See you next time.